Oh, Dali, you're back. Ah, oh, I've been so hungry. Can you quickly prepare something so I'm we can tired. eat? Honey? Honey, I've been waiting for you to come back. I've not eaten all day. I said I'm tired and I want to rest. Get something and eat. There's no food in this house. Then get golden mon or cornflakes or something. I don't care. Sir, you didn't touch your food. Has your mother gone? Yes, sir. Ifoma, I prayed. I'm sorry? I prayed for your wife. It was my last wish. I spent all my years working. To have a good life. I just wanted to settle down with a family of my own. I met a man of God who told me God has granted my wish. And I waited one month that God was going to send that woman to my life. Two weeks later. I met Anita, and in my mind, I concluded she was that woman because she was so beautiful. <laughs> but I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> if I was wrong. <laughs> But um, this is now your new home, and everything in it is yours. It is so lovely. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Oh, God, come, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. This is Esther from the housekeeping agency. Uh, uh, she will help you with all the house chores, so that you don't have to stress yourself. <laughs> Esther. Sir. This is my wife, your madam. Madam, welcome. Thank you. So you go and get the things in the boot. Okay. All right. Let me show you around. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's so I'm glad you like it. <laughs> wow, I love the painting. It is so cute. the food. Mm -hmm. I love it. Good. After this, Esther will bring you some fruits. I want you to eat so that your body will keep shining for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My hope the food is delicious. I have one for you. you. Like it? Get me something cold. Okay. Honey, mm -hmm. I want you to eat a lot of those fruits. 
Okay, hmm? baby. <laughs> Let this your body be shining for me. <laughs> baby. <laughs> It was like I was in paradise. I must go there. I must go there. Are you done? Honey, I'm done. I've come. In fact, I've overcome. You're... No, no, no. I come massively. It was massive. That's how they come. Maybe I've not come more. Let's go one more round. Honey. Wait now, you will come later now. Maybe you know I've got a very high sexual appetite. Let's go one more time. I'm tired now. I'll, You're I'll not just tired, then one more. Oh. Hope you slept well. This is your allowance for the day. Use it and do whatever you like. <laughs> oh, yes! I hit the jackpot this time. So how is it going? Well, I'm almost done. I just have five more applications and I'm good to go. Hmm. I pray that by the time you finish writing these applications, 10 out of these companies will call you for interview. Amen, Mom. Amen. I know you will get it. Um, I just have a little challenge. You know I'm going to be submitting these applications to different companies. I don't have transport fare to take me around. Don't worry about that. I already mapped out money for you since you told me your plans. Am I not your mother? I set aside a certain sum of money. The only thing I want from you is to go out there and get this job so that you'll be happy. Oh, mom. What? Don't look at me like that. Mm -mm, bam, 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 bam. Don't. Oh, it's okay. All right? I just want you to be happy. Okay? Thank you, Mom. I love you, Mom. I love you more. You know that. Is this your house? It's so beautiful. Oh yes, my husband's house so automatically is my house. <laughs> ha! Girl, you're so lucky. Nope, nope. I'm not lucky. I'm smart. This has got nothing to do with being lucky. I was at the right place at the right time. Very sharp girl, you. you. Know that. Ha! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I know, right? So, is your husband home? Um, no. He's not. That one doesn't miss any opportunity to brag about me to his friends. Who wouldn't? Look at you now. You're hot. You're fine. you set. <laughs> you know, it's sweet though, but sometimes it can be really annoying. My dear, 
Don't complain. You know a lot of girls who kill to have what you have now. I'm not complaining though. Know. How? <laughs> I'm here to stay. No leave, no, no transfer. transfer. Come on. <laughs> so, tell me, how is he? You know what I mean now. This girl, you're so naughty. <laughs> Anyways, it's not bad. But you know me. You know how I like it now. <laughs> Anyway, you know what they say, you cannot eat your cake and have it, so you just have to manage it like that. Huh, manage? <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Mama? Mama? Mm. No, no, no. Yes, Mama. So, how did it go? <sighs> Mom, I'm so tired and hungry and frustrated. I just want to eat before I start the tale of how much I suffered today. Suffer? No, no, my daughter. You cannot suffer. Hmm? Don't worry, let me get you your food first. Then you tell me how it went. Oh? Darling, you can't believe it. Esther has such amazing stories from her childhood. You need to hear it. I see. I want to see you in private. I can't wait till later. You can't wait. I want to see you now. Okay. Okay. Esther, I'm coming back. Okay, sir. And when I come, you tell me the end of that story. I will. All right. Honey, you've been tapping your foot on the ground for the past five minutes. What is the problem? You're acting like you don't know what the problem is, Abby. If I knew what the problem was, I wouldn't be asking you. You say you wanted us to talk privately. <laughs> I don't even know what the problem is in the first place. I want her out of this house. The maid, Esther. Honey. Why? What has she done? She's disrespectful. Besides, I don't like her. No. Honey. I think we're missing something here. Esther is a very nice girl. Very respectful and well-mannered. Oh. I see. Now you're taking the side of your maid instead of taking the side of your wife, Abby. I see. Very soon she'll start parading herself in this house and acting like the madam of the house. Honey, honey that will never happen. Huh? Nobody's going to take your place in my life. Not even in this house. Then send her away. Send her away. Taking this out of your midst of your wife. Then I mean, I don't want her again. I mean, talk about send her away. Alright. You know what, honey? I'm going to do something about it. Don't do anything. Send her away. Come on, send her away now. <laughs> See? Alright. I promise to do something about it. Don't do anything. Send her away. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? Sir, I'm here to submit my CV. Uh, is the manager around? To my manager? You know, there are two different managers. I am still the manager of this gate. Or is it the manager of the main building that you are talking about? Yes, sir. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Uh, there is no problem. But before you go in, you understand, this is my territory. The God's territory. You have to, like, appease the gods before you move in. Do you understand? No, sir. I don't understand. I'm saying that you have to appease the gods because what I'm saying is that I know that once you get in there, because you are beautiful, 
they will definitely give you the job. And by then, if you start working, you'll be doing me willy willy, invisible and visible. Do you understand for me? You know? So I have to take my own now. Are you saying I should bribe you? Well, I don't know if that is the baptismal name. Do you understand? But at this particular junction, you have to appease the gods before you enter. Do you understand? But I haven't even gotten the job yet. I'm not even sure I'll be employed. Besides, I don't have any money. Why don't you just let me in? And after the interview, I, I will just maybe appreciate you. You don't even have money. You don't even know if you get the job. Now, why can't I let you in? After the interview, you appreciate me. Do I look depreciated? In fact, I can see that you are not ready. Young woman. I don't usually do this. You know, ordinarily, I will ask you to drop your application and uh, wait for our call. But looking at you, you strike me as one loaded with potentials. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Going through your file, I see you have the requisite qualifications for this job. In fact, I would say you are the kind of woman this company needs right now. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. You know, every woman of beauty without duty is guilty because soon your Mary Kay will just decay. I'll give you this job. Thank you, sir. But there is something you have to do for me. Anything, for sir. Me. I can do anything, sir. Yes. Anything? Yes, sir. Hmm. I like your willing spirit. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I just spoke to a manager. You know, the manager of the uh, Global Crown Hotel. You know, the one at the junction. Yes. I have a room there, 306. It's already paid for. It's been paid for. And I would like you to, you know, go there, wait for me, so we can get to know each other better and seal this new relationship. No, I mean, just a... Uh... Uh, uncle! money before I change it for you. Uh, give me my money. Uh, I'm talking to you. Give me my money. Money. Give me my money. Hey. Hey. This guy does not know me. Hey. Give me my money. Where's the money you took from me? You see, you made me forget my fight. You are your stupid boss. I'm going for my fight. By the time I'm back, you better provide my money or else I'll kill you. You're back. Why is your face like that? What happened? Eh? Ife, did that robbers attack you? Talk to me now. What happened? Mom, yes. 
What is the use of this certificate? What is the essence of me going to school, studying from morning to night to make first class, just to face this, this rubbish, this frustration? Calm down. All will be well. I don't think so, Mom. How? Don't say that. God is still in control. That it is bad today does not mean it will be bad tomorrow. Listen, that you don't have a job today does not mean you won't have a job tomorrow. Having a bad day today doesn't mean you keep having bad days. Huh? Wipe your tears. It's going to be all right. Don't cry again. Yeah? Stop crying. Stop. <laughs> It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Madame Deborah. Yes, ma'am. Um, I and my husband are stepping out and we would not be coming back early. We also would not want to disturb your sleep, so please leave the doors open, okay? Yes, ma'am. Alright, baby, are you ready? Absolutely. Let's go. go. Yeah. Somebody. There is something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is it? My daughter. You know you are a married woman. And there are some things you shouldn't be seen wearing. Like yesterday, that clothes you wore was too short. Every time you are going out, you always dress half naked. And these small boys will be seeing things that, you're, that is meant for your husband alone. What is this nonsense? Am I married to your son? Did I ask you for your advice? Why don't you mind your business and do what brought you here? Sorry, my just... Just what? Listen, stick to your job description and keep your opinions to yourself. My daughter, my ass. I've done my part. At least I did not say evil and keep quiet. Ha <laughs> A married woman. And I'm very hot. Only the corner got a bacha. What nonsense. Honey, what is the problem? Is it not that old woman that will not mind her business? Imagine her telling me that what I wore yesterday was too short. Like, what the hell is she to tell me what not to wear? It's okay. Just calm down. I'm going to talk to her. You better talk to her because the next time she brings that busy body around me, that day will be her last day in this house. Honey, this is the third time the agency is sending someone into our house. Well, we pay for their services and I'm sure they shouldn't have a problem with that. But they will think we are the problem. Don't you think about that? See, I don't like this look on your face. Can you just smile for me? No, honey. Listen, I don't like this look on your face. Can you just smile for me? Mm -hmm. All right, now smile for me now. Okay, you know what? I'll take you for shopping this evening so I can remove this from your mind. Is that okay? All okay. right. You smile for me now. Okay. Smile, man. Should be a pay for this man. <laughs> You're back. Yes, Mom. How did it go today? <laughs> Mom, it went well. Let's just hope and pray that the company calls me. From the sound of your voice, I know there is hope already. <laughs> Let's hope. Mm. Okay, Mom. Okay. Mom. Mm -hmm. Do you know that people actually go to companies and offer themselves as house helps to work in people's houses? What did you say? One of the companies that I submitted my CV to is actually a housekeeping agency. 
So what they do is, when all these big men are looking for mates, they will just call the company and the company will assign someone to go and work in their house as mate. Really? Yes. In this Lagos? Mommy, I even hear that they pay them pretty well. Just that the agency will take a little percentage from your salary. Well, let's just pray that the company will just employ me. Me, with my first class. I am not working in anybody's house as a maid. <laughs> <laughs> they will take you. The company will take you. Amen. Uh, no shame on. Uh, are you done? I'm done. I'm going and freshen up. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Oh, welcome, Onim. Girl, I thought she was going to be better than others because of her age, but what? She's the worst. She talks too much. She eats too much. She sleeps too much. Ah, I swear I'm tired. I'm so tired. Ah. What is this? Fruit juice, ma. Babe, let me call you back, okay? What did I ask you to get me? I know you asked for wine, but it's too early to start drinking. I'm like your mother, and I know better. I'll be in the kitchen in case you need anything. <laughs> that does it. <laughs> that does it. I'm done. <laughs> Hello? Please, is this the agency people? No, I was so furious. You know, that woman has got so. You know, she even came back to beg me that she was sorry after the agency asked her to come back. Are you serious? Yes. I honestly, honestly cannot wait to see the next person that they have to bring to me because I'm tired of all this video car house smells. Okay, so what did Daniel say when you told him? That one. What does he have to say? My dear, I'm just tired of staying in that house. I can't wait to get something that will get me busy. So I'll leave that house. It's boring. Ah, but you have your husband now. Can we stop talking about my husband already? It's just so boring. Everything about him is it's boring. It's okay now. What? I know he gives me everything that I want. I no doubt. I'm not gonna lie about it. But I mean, I'm a young woman now. There are just some things that he cannot give me. Okay. Things like what? Let's stop talking about it. It's okay. Anyways, did you cash out that money? Which please don't ask me anything about the money. It's not my business for deal that I gave you. Don't ask me anything about that money. See this baby. It's not your business. When you leave right, then it's playing right. Your life is like a melody. It was good. Thank you. 
<sighs> Ooh. My outing was fine. Jane sends a regard. Okay. The agency sent someone to replace man and Deborah. My boy. Mm. What do you think? I saw him outside. He's perfect. I thought you were going to complain because he's a boy. No, complain, no. He's perfect. I've got absolutely nothing to complain about. So now we can have peace, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Ify, I was thinking about uh, what you told me the other day about that uh, housekeeping agency. Okay. Have they contacted you? Not yet, but I'm hopeful. I was equally wondering, since you say that they employ people to work for other people, why don't you apply for that one too? <laughs> oh, you're not joking. See, while you're waiting for the big one, you start with the small one first. Hey, hey, mommy, please. If this is a joke, it's not funny. What are you even saying? That I, a first class graduate, should go and work in someone's house as a maid? If it, this is not about first class. Mommy, I am a graduate of business administration and I applied for the post of an office assistant in that company. How do I return there and tell them that I want to be used as a maid? How do you think they would see me? They would think I'm desperate. But of course you're desperate. Or don't you need the money again? You told me they pay heavily. Big money. Huh. You're desperate, oh. If you're not desperate, stop being desperate now. Or else me, I'll go and take the work. I will go and apply. Mm -hmm. Or you think I don't need money? Just think about it, Sha. Think about it. Wait, I want you to give me a massage. What you said? I know you're not deaf. I said, Come give me a massage. Come here. I don't have all day, hurry up. Mm. 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 Lower. Go lower. Oh. 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 Go lower. Lower, oh, yes, oh. Darling, I'm home. Ah. Emmanuel. had high blood pressure immediately. Almost. I would have died instantly. I've, do you know that I've never seen Daniel as angry as he was that day? Who would he literally wanted to strangle that guy. 
happen? Who wouldn't? If you ask me, I don't even know how I came up with that story to come out of that situation. Honestly. Babe, you took a huge risk. But it was worth it. Gosh, I feel so alive. So, where is he? Who? The boy that made you put your marriage on the line. Alright, first of all, my marriage is not on the line because I've got Daniel wrapped around my fingers. He's going nowhere anytime soon. Okay. We die here. Mm -hmm. And second of all, he's not a boy. He's a grown ass man that knows how to handle a woman. Okay. Gosh! His touch. His. Ooh, the way he touched me, the way he grabbed me. Are you okay? I'm fine, baby girl. Of course, ma. Yes, I would, I would take it. Thank you very much, ma. Okay, ma. Bye. <laughs> what did they say? She said that there's an opening for a house girl job. Mm -hmm. You're taking it now? Mommy, I can't believe you. I let you talk me into this. See, be grateful for little things. Eh? See, do you know that there are people out there who have money but they are not satisfied? Well, at least they have money. Ify, money is not everything. So why are you forcing me to do house girl job? Why? If you're not taking the job, I'll go and take it. I will take it on your behalf. You think I'll allow you to work as a maid? God forbid. So better go in there and start packing your things. Thank you, God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Last minute, someone is just in a while schedule for. <laughs> just my man. Yeah, I understand everything you're saying perfectly. Sorry, can I call you back? My wife is here. Okay. Baby. Honey. Ah. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> mm, how are you? I'm okay. Um, have you eaten? No, I was waiting for you. I'm sorry, baby. Jane just kept talking and talking. You know she talks too much. <laughs> you know what? Let me just go and make you dinner. Dinner will be ready in no time, okay? It's okay. Uh, honey. I, I called the agency people today. You did? Yeah, they apologized and they told me that um, they have sacked that stupid boy. Nice! Yeah. Good. I'll be back. Ugh. And um, again, they say they are sending someone else to us. No, no. I do not want no agency person anymore. I'm done. Honey, you need help. Okay? I, I, I don't want you to stress yourself unnecessarily. Baby, I'm not complaining. Just me complaining. I'm fine. Okay? See, honey, the person they sent is already on her way now as we speak. Well, just call them and tell them we we'll changed our minds. Honey. Baby, I'm fine. Come, let me go make dinner, okay? Sit down. Mm. And let your queen make dinner. I'll be back. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's like a melody. Yeah. Your life is like a melody. Yeah. When you leave right, then Hello, you ma. Right. Yes, I'm on my way there. Ma? Okay, ma. What kind of what, what kind of bad luck is this? Am I cursed or something? What is all this? What is all this? What is all this stress for? Life is 
So what happened next? Nothing serious. We just talked and got to know each other better. And he's single and he lives alone. And I'm single and I live alone. Ha! <laughs> Anita, Anita. <laughs> what? Just take it easy though. Just take it easy. We even have a date tomorrow though. Ah, so soon? Yep. Just a VC tour, nothing serious. <sighs> you need to be careful though. You need to be very, very careful. Babe. If you see this guy, he is so fine. Damn. But wait, should I tell him that I'm married? Uh -huh. Are you not married? It's on your business. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're not planning to do anything with this guy. Because if you are, you need to be very, very careful. You just met this guy. I honestly cannot remember how I met you and where I met you. Because you're so old school. Anyways. I and Nita do not plan to do anything with him. But if along the line something happens, hey, me, I can't complain. <laughs> this baby, you're not. <laughs> that was amazing. You were amazing, baby. <laughs> it felt like you were horse riding on me so hard. <laughs> well. Well, this horse is ready to ride you so Oh, well, I'm so ready! Hey, Kerike, Baby, you didn't make my heart go. Hey, 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 Kerike. Yes, sir. You are really very happy. I'm excited. <laughs> so, what happened? I am married to the most wonderful man in the whole universe. Why wouldn't I be happy? <laughs> You're amazing. So go back, relax. Food will be ready, okay? Kitty K. 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 Baby, you don't make my heart go away. Kick, kick, get it, get. Yes, yes. Hey, hey. 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 what happened? It's cleaning agency. Uh -huh. They caught. Hey, what did they say? They said that they are sorry about the stress they put you through the other day. That they have realized that you truly want to work. And so they want to employ you temporarily in their office. Mommy. Yes, as a cleaner. Pending when anybody that needs a housemaid will come. Hey, isn't God wonderful? Mommy, is this why you're excited? If you need a job and now you have one. Anyway. She said that uh, you should take your time to think about it. But I told her, no, that there is nothing you're thinking about. Because I know you need the job, you're going to take the job. So she said you can start tomorrow. Uh, honey, mm -hmm. where are you going to? I'm stepping out with Jane. Her sister's husband's cousin is having a child dedication today. Child dedication on a Saturday? Mm-hmm. It's nothing, it's just something small. They don't want to crowd. Why didn't you tell me? I, I, I could have prepared to go with you. Baby, it's nothing serious. You 
You look so beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, your food is on the dining, so you should go eat now so it doesn't get cold. I married the best woman in this world. Thank you. Okay. Hello? Babe, what's up? See, I just told Daniel that I'm stepping out with you. So please, on no occasion, should you be seen anywhere around this vicinity, I beg you. Yes, now. I'm hanging out with Steve today. Who cares? Listen, I'm having the time of my life and nobody can stop me. All right, bye. Don't forget to. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Where is she? I know she stuck at me. What, what are you doing here? When did you come back? Where is that bitch? I can't get out of the man. Who is that? I know she's here. Why, 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 why are you here? What? What? Ah! No, 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 baby. Come on, come on, come on. Don't touch me. What is going on here? Who's this mad woman? Eh? You call me mad? No, no. Wait, 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 baby, calm down. I will deal with you. Boyfriend's not rubbish. I will deal with you. I can explain. Why are you doing like this now? Boyfriend. I thought you told me you didn't have a girlfriend. I can't explain. I promise you I can explain. How could you even lie to me like this? Anita. Anita. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Are you not Mr. Daniel's wife? <laughs> Wonder who will never see in this Lagos. Somebody's wife. You're married. You. Oh, please stop acting like a scent. You didn't tell me you had a crazy girlfriend. Babe, hold on, 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 hold Sorry, 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 sorry. And that guy himself, he was just using it to pass time simply because his girlfriend was not available. See, that's not even what is bothering me right now. Sorry, it's, the, sorry, sorry, sorry. it's the fact that that lady recognized me. She knows Daniel. Are you serious? I'm really scared right now because I feel like she can just show up at any moment. Ha! That's not good though. And that's why I kept telling you not to call Daniel, but you wouldn't listen. I didn't know now. I was scared. I didn't oh. know what to do. <laughs> Easy. Sorry. Oh my God. What happened to my queen? A reckless driver. Accident. What? Where is he? I hope he has been locked up in the police cell. Your wife with a heart of good asked the guy to go. She didn't even press charges. Well, then why would he do that? Eh? Should have let this man suffer for what he did to you. Jane, tell him what his wife wanted to do to me. His, his, his wife, yes. Hmm. The wife was causing a sin. She even accused your wife of, of, of causing the accident. What nonsense. She said she was even going to come here. Let her come here now. I'm waiting for her. And I'll show you the, the, the stuff I'm made of. What kind of rubbish is that? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Honey, sorry. Huh? <laughs> what balm are you using? Oh, sorry, 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 your life is like a melody line. Your life is like a melody line. Your life is like a melody line. When you leave right, then you play right. Your life is like a melody
God has saved me that day. <laughs> that girl wanted to scatter my face. See, what you should be grateful for is that woman did not come to your house. Come to my house. I was ready for her now. She would have regretted it if she had stepped her feet in my house. Really? What would you have done? Why are you sounding like you've forgotten who Daniel is? He'll literally do anything for me and he listens to everything that I say. I'll lock her and her stupid boyfriend up now. Straight up. Okay, speak, speaking of which, what has he called you? The stupid fool hasn't called me on. To even check up on me to know if I survived his girlfriend's attack. Nothing, not even as much as a flash. But I miss him though. So what did you say? I know, I know that, you know, the relationship didn't last and all that. But, I mean, Steve was, was everything that you want in a man. It's going to be difficult for me to get over him. Can you even hear yourself speak? Okay, um, I'm just going to find a way to just, you know, get over it. And how are you going to do that? I don't know. I'll just distract myself with another guy, someone who's as good as Steve or even better. Really? So what is going to happen to, to, to Daniel? My dear, Daniel will survive. It's okay. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. <sighs> oh, problem. Your life is like a melody. Your life is like a melody. When you live right, then you play right. Life is like a melody Are you done? Yes. No, no, no. One, two. No, 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 no. No, no, no. See. Come, stop, stop, stop. Don't touch me. Ah. So with all this, you're plenty, plenty muscle. It's only one, two you can do. You're the hey, 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 hey. Usually, on the second take, you enjoy it. Second and key, you dear. My friend, did allow me. No. Your life is like a melody. Oh, Dali, you're back. Ah, oh, I've been so hungry. Can you quickly prepare something so I'm we can tired. eat? Honey? Honey, I've been waiting for you to come back. I've not eaten all day. I said I'm tired and I want to rest. Get something and eat. There's no food in this house. Then get golden man or cornflakes or something. I don't care. I'm going to the market to go and buy something to cook. Okay, mommy. <sighs> Today is your off day. You're supposed to be resting so that you'll be strong for tomorrow's work. Mommy, I'll rest when I'm done with these newspapers. 
Oh, what sort of punishment is this one? Oh, no, this is not punishment. I'm seeking out for job vacancies. Job vacancies? But you already have a job now. Eh? Anyway, let me go to the market and buy what I used to cook. <laughs> This rice tastes so good. I'm glad you like it. Because I prepared it specially for you. <laughs> what are we celebrating? You, of course. Oh. Yes. Ify, since you graduated, I have watched you struggle. Going from place to place looking for a job. Now you have gotten one. You even got one that gives you time to rest. See, you might think it is not worth celebrating. Maybe because it's not what you wanted. But then, God gives us blessings we don't understand. You prayed about it. Yes, mommy. And believe that God has answered it. God will never give you anything that will harm you. Huh? Anyway, go ahead and eat. Eat up so that you'll be strong enough to carry those heavy waist beings you were telling me about. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Mommy. You're welcome, darling. Mm.
Okay, darling, thank you. Doctor. Uh, hello, madam. Doctor, please, what, what happened to my husband? What's wrong with him? Calm down, madam. Your husband will be all right. He had a heart attack. A heart attack? Sure, he had a heart attack. But he'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Um, did he receive any bad news or something bad happened to him that led to such a shock? No, nothing happened. I mean, he was fine when I left the house. Um, that is to say, you weren't there when it happened. Yes, sorry, no. What I'm trying to say is that he... he um... I, it's, it's all right, it's all right. He'll be fine. What is more important now is to take good care of him and make sure that um, he takes his medications. I'm going to give you some prescriptions for him. Make sure he eats very well and take his medications mm -hmm. and that way everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing before I leave, um, make sure that you bring him always for a routine checkup okay. until his system is back again. Right, this is very important. Um, you'll be fine, gentlemen. Uh, please come with me. Your life is like a melody. Your life is like a melody. When you live right, then you play right. Life is like a melody Girl, I promise you, if I have to do this one more day, I will just go crazy. Babe, is your husband my hair? I don't care. What, I mean, what kind of life is this? This is not what I signed for. As if I don't have other things to deal with, now I have to take care of a sick old man. But he's still your husband. Tell me something I don't know. Look, I don't even know why you're complaining. When you can take care of this with just one phone call. How? The housekeeping agency. Oh my goodness, Jane, you are a lifesaver. Do you know I forgot? Finally, freedom. Mm -hmm. Anybody who hears you scream hey. now would think that you've just been released from a prison. Oh, what would 
would you call this? Ha! Please, let me call them because before I forget. But, are you sure they will have someone to send over to me right now? They will always have someone to send over. Just call them. Ah, let me call them a bit. Ah, you this girl, you're a lifesaver. No, no. <laughs> you know how I walk. You walk fast too. I used to walk fast. Hey, hold up, so that Chama will meet up. Okay, thank you. Chama, that job was sweet. Sweet. I know. How are you even enjoying this job? Don't even understand. That's a good one. If I'm a HR would love to see you. Me? Yes. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> see, she says there is good news. Huh? Good news? Yes. I beg make it be job because I need money. Hey. Hey. Ah, uh, this one she's back this early. Ifoma, Ifoma, she's not hearing me. Ifoma, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What happened? And why are you home this early? The HR called me into her office today. Uh -huh. What did she say? She said that a very wealthy man is in need of a house need, and she wants to send me there. God be praised. Hey, that's good news now. Mommy, they said that the man's wife is very wicked and evil. And she's always sacking everyone without any valid reason. Since when did you start listening to gossip? Eh? And why are you passing judgment when the case has not even started? Mommy, this is not gossip. Everyone that has been sent there had the same thing to say about her. And the thing is, if you are sacked in that way, you won't be paid salary. I don't know why all this is happening and I finally accepted my fate as a cleaner. I understand how you feel, but don't conclude yet. What if she accuses me of doing something that I did not do? Nobody can accuse you of doing what you didn't do. Besides, if you get there and you don't like what you see, pack your things and come back here immediately. Yes, in as much as I want you to work and get, uh, make good money, I will not compromise your happiness. Never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Yes. I'm coming. Welcome. Um, have your seat. Sit. What do you want me to offer you? Ma? Do you want to eat now or later? I... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to get you a cold glass of juice because I know the weather is really hot. One second, I'll be back, okay? Go. Thank you. You're welcome. Go on, drink. Hmm. Yes, mommy. I'm even so shocked. The woman is so nice. I've never seen anyone as nice as she is. Could you believe she even carried my bag inside? Yes. 
And I feel so bad believing all those gossip and rumors about her. I'm serious, the house is so big. You should just, you should just see the kitchen. Girl, you needed to have seen how excited I was when I saw her. What? <laughs> I literally almost hugged her. Finally, freedom. Ah. Yeah, I've shown her everywhere. Told her what to do. He's asleep right now. All he needs to do is eat well and take his medication. So it doesn't matter who gives it to him. <laughs> Babe, I have been waiting for this day for a very, very long time. Everybody in that party would know that Anita is back. Babe, you know now, I cannot fold your hand. Ah, ah, me? I know the forehand now. <laughs> Babe, let me call you back. I, I think he's awake. I'll call you back. I don't know. I can't wait to start making all the meals. Mommy, she said I'll be cooking all the food. I'm serious. Everywhere is so big. It smells so nice. I like it here, Mommy. Hey. Come inside. Okay, Ma. Mommy, let me call you back. Mr. Daniel Ifanacho. Yes? Do you know my husband? Yes. I mean, no. I know his name and his company. Oh. It's so nice to meet you, sir. You're welcome. So, what is your name? My name is Ifoma Elochuko, sir. Ifoma Elochuko. Well, I had to... Uh... You'll be the one taking care of me now. That's correct, sir. Uh, uh, not exactly. You were just meant to make sure he doesn't miss his medications and his doctor's appointment. Okay. Um, okay, ma. Sorry, ma. Better. All right. Um, so, what do you think? It will be an honor to serve you, sir. Such a great day. What? My friend, lighten up. The worst days are over. Let's enjoy this new beginnings. You seem to really trust this, your new girl. Though. She literally worships the ground that I walk on. Girl, now I can do whatever I want, go wherever I want to go to. And she's really happy to take care of Daniel. What more can I ask for? Anyway, you know, I'm just saying, you, got, you know girls of nowadays, they can't be trusted. Remember the other girl you sent away, um, what's her name? Esther? Esther, yes. That was the reason you sent her away. See, this one, there are no comparison. This one is one of all those good girls. I won't even be surprised if she's still a virgin. Virgin? In this our generation? See this one. I think everybody spots like you. Sure. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> please, 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 please. You're not even better. I can't be compared with you. I am spot. I accept it with my full chest. You hear? But you, my darling, you are spot. My me and sport you can never be used in the same <laughs> sentence. So don't even don't even um, go Good day, ma. Welcome. Thank you, ma. Um, I'll be stepping out later this evening and I wouldn't be coming back tonight. Okay, ma. Do you still remember how to administer his medications? Three o'clock for the pain relief and nine o'clock for the anesthetics. Good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, ma. Good evening, sir. Sir, so it's time for your anesthetics.
I can get up on my own. Sorry, sir. My wife thinks I'm weak now. I, I think she's tired of seeing me like this. Um, you know that um, she's a young lady, so I just have to keep up with her. Mm. Um, sorry for yelling at you. It's okay, sir. Mm. How did a first class graduate of business administration end up as a house help? I mean, talking about what I know of you and your qualification, what happened? <laughs> Nigeria happened, sir. I mean, we live in a country where we are made to fend for ourselves, so. Here I am. Why sad? Really sad. So, um, since you know so much about me and about my business, why didn't you seek for a job in my company? We definitely need people like you. I, I would have given you a job without a second thought. Actually, sir, your company was the first I submitted my CV to. Are you serious? Yes, sir. What happened? I wasn't called for the interview. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It's fine, sir. I'm happy with my life. You're happy with your life as a house help forever? Not exactly, sir. I mean, I am content with what I have. Okay, but um, if you have a better offer or a better opportunity, uh, wouldn't you take it? Of course, sir. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought as much. Uh, you should have some rest, sir. Okay, okay, away. Sorry. Are you done with this? Thank you. You're welcome. Four one one. Watch your steps. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for what? Come on, for allowing me to take care of the bills. Well, I should be saying thank you. Ah, no, no, no. A beautiful someone like you shouldn't be allowed to take care of anything at all. Anything. Thank you. By the way, can I get your number? Of course. What's the number? 070. Okay. Bye bye. Uh huh.
Help me take care of the bills. Well, I should be saying thank you. Ah, no, no, no. You should always wear it, because it looks beautiful on you. You don't mind that I'm married? <laughs> nope. I'm more concerned about getting the chance to be so, so close to you. Cheers to us. <laughs> you are so silly. I know. <laughs> oh my God. Are you stupid? Can't you see that I'm on the phone? I'm so sorry. Man. Sorry for your stupid self. My friend, get out of here. Sweetie, I'm sorry, my love. She saw these silly mates that, that you can't find any good one around. Anyways, you were saying. <laughs> Ifoma. Ifoma. Honestly, I'm not happy with you. I asked you to tell my wife to remind me something, and you failed to do that. I'm sorry, sir. But I tried to tell her, and then she started to... But she to... did what? She did what? You were being very rude. And if you had spoken to me the normal way, I would have listened to you. Now you made my husband forget what he was supposed to bring home. Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Baby. Honey. I miss you. I really miss you too. What are you still doing here? It's like a melody. Your life is like a melody. When you live right, then you speak right. Your life is like a melody. Exactly, are you sorry for? And what do you want to talk about? Come on now, don't be like this. It's not fair. I need to look, I understand you're married. But seeing you with another man, oh, I don't think I can deal with it. I 
I'm sorry. And I promise it will never happen again. Come on. If he's your husband, I will understand. But babe, I can't share you with another man. Sorry. Promise it won't happen again? I promise. I miss you. I miss you too. Come here. Uh, I have something for you. What? Something you've been missing. Just leave it there for now. Okay, sir. I can't seem to figure out what is missing here. I'm sorry, sir. This report. I think something is wrong somewhere, but I just can't lay my hands on it. Can I have a look, sir? Yeah, sure. Come on, look at it. Where is that genius of a girl? If I'm a... Sir. Hey, yeah. Welcome, sir. Do you know you're a genius? Your brilliant solution is about to take my company to the next level. I shared that your idea with the rest members of the board. And they were speechless. It was fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. I should be the one thanking you. <laughs> now, take this. I put some money in there. You can use it to buy whatever you like. God bless you, sir. Thank you. It's all right. Uh, where is my wife? She went out, sir. Okay. Um, is there food? Yes, sir. I just finished preparing food. You can come to the dining. All right. It's okay. Things fall apart. Ah. Things to fall in place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Things go wrong for you. So be thankful for the right one. I'll be traveling tomorrow. Where? To see my mom. She's not feeling fine. Oh, Mama is not feeling fine. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Because I just got a call now. Okay, so when are you coming back? I'm just staying for the weekend. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Give you some money to go with. Okay. <laughs> no. Honey, you know it's a long time we've not had sex. And you are traveling tomorrow. Exactly. I'm traveling tomorrow. That's why I need to rest. And that's the main reason we should have it before you travel. Oh, Where no. do you. I want to sleep, please. I'm Where do you expect me to get it from? 
The way you behave is the harmony, yeah. For how you treat some other man, you will pay one day. Your life is like a melody line. Your life is like a melody. Nah. Your life is like a melody. Nah. When you live right, then you've played right. Your life is like a melody. Nah. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Daniel's residence. I'm sorry, what? What happened? How? Okay, okay, where? Okay, I'm coming. He was involved in a car accident. And as we speak right now, his case is very critical. I need to speak with a direct family member about this situation. Please, where is the wife? Um, she traveled. But I can call her and inform her. Oh good, please, please, make the call now. Go ahead. But doctor, I hope he's going to be alright. Yes, he is going to be alright. Your life is like a melody. Hence you can't reach her and there's no other family member around. I will have to tell you what the matter is. Daniel is blind. What? Mr. Daniel is blind. He lost his sight. Calm down. Calm down. It is medically a temporary situation that can be reversed with time. Do I don't know how long it will be. What happened? He was fine when he left home this morning. Yeah, that's what people don't understand. Um, he was driving this morning and uh, suddenly had had attack again. That made him to lose control of the vehicle. And he was greatly traumatized in the brain that led to his blindness. Calm down. It is not something that cannot be reversed. Though clinically, I don't know when it will be reversed, but with good medication and care, Mr. Daniel will regain his sight. Calm down. This water. It's so hot out there. <laughs> you mean she has not come home since that time? Yes, Mama. And she has not called? She hasn't. Hey, this is bad. I hope she's okay. If she's okay. That woman doesn't deserve to be okay. She doesn't deserve any moment of peace in her life. Adam! What has come over you? Why wish such evil on a fellow woman? Mommy, she has left him. What are you saying? She has left him and I know that she's not coming back. It's just so sad because Mr. Daniel doesn't deserve this. He's such a good man. What are you saying? I know what I am saying, Mama. I used to overhear her conversations on the phone with different men. One time, she even brought one man home and claimed that he was her brother. Chimo. Next thing, the man giggled and went up. The sounds I heard coming from upstairs that day. My own, I cannot even begin to talk about it. Hey! 
You mean she brought a man into her matrimonial home? Hey! Kabu Kwaharu. That woman is not a wife material at all. She's not even a girlfriend material. I just feel bad for anyone that will end up with a wayward human being. Sir, you didn't touch your food. Has your mother gone? Yes, sir. Ifoma, I prayed. I'm sorry? I prayed for your wife. It was my last wish. I spent all my years working to have a good life. I just wanted to settle down with a family of my own. I met a man of God who told me God has granted my wish. And I waited one month that God was going to send that woman to my life. Two weeks later, I met Aneta, and in my mind, I concluded she was that woman because she was so beautiful. <laughs> but I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> if I was wrong. <laughs> Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? I mean, judging from where you left behind. Girl, what I left behind was bottom and hell. This is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, as they say, one man's food is another man's poison. <laughs> Please. I saw your help with Daniel at the mall. He's still blind anyways. No way. She was leading him down the mall and buying things for herself. To think that I thought she was different. Well, I don't care. It's none of my business. He's blind. She's a bush girl. They look good together. <laughs> Are you serious? So you're not going to do anything about it? Listen, nothing, absolutely nothing is going to take me back to that house. I have all that I need and want. Here, I'm fine. Okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> hey, you're so funny. So, is he really that blind? As blind as a bat. Hmm. Do you know what this could mean for us if we play our cards well? How do you mean? <laughs> you know, you could go home anytime you want. Babe, look, I... Listen... Baby, see, there's nothing in this world that'll make me go back to that house. I mean, I have all that I want and need with you. We're okay the way we are. But we could be more than okay. Have you thought about what Daniel Ifana chose fortune could do for us? Think about it. Yes. Engineering is beyond gender. It requires mental ability as opposed to physical, says engineer Ogon Tala. In this case, Who is that? It's your oh, wife. Baby. How are you?
Ify. I'm here, sir. Babe, um, I'll be back. I need to speak with her. Out. Listen to me and listen very well. I am back to my husband's house, my house, and your services here are no longer needed. Please do me a favor, go to your room, pack your things and get out. I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. I am giving you an instruction. Why am I even stressing myself with you? I'm just gonna call the agency that brought you, they will come take you. I no longer work with the agency. I now work for Mr. Daniel directly and only he can fire me. I see. You want to come to my house? Poison my husband and then run away with his money, right? That's what you want to do, <laughs> right? You know, I was wondering why you came back all of a sudden and what your plan was. You just told me. How dare you? What are you trying to do? Slap me? Are you crazy? Look, I only condone your nonsense in this house because of Mr. Danny. If you try this next time, you regret the day you set your eyes on me. And again, if anything happens to Mr. Daniel, if he as much as coughs in a funny way. Ah! <laughs> That's all I can say. Is that you? It's your wife, Anita. Anita? Yes. Anita. Baby, you will not believe how that stupid girl just spoke to me. She's very rude and I think you should fire her. The former is very respectful. I'm sure she meant no harm. Anyways, you, you, you've been telling me to go back to school and all that, so I applied for um, to be admitted in the school. And they gave me a document that only a family member can sign. All you need to do is sign it and I'm admitted. Yeah. How is your mother? Who? You, you said your mother was sick and you were going to see her. It's over a month since you left. And you, you just came back and you're acting as if nothing happened. Um, I, I've heard all sorts of stories. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Please, 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 stop! What's all these interrogations for now? Because I asked you to sign a document for me. I don't blame me on that stupid girl. I saw your wife leaving angrily. After all that has happened, can you still say she's my wife? Do you need anything? Um, where, where is the pen? She hmm. said I need to sign her school document. She threw it angrily on the bed when I asked her where she has oh. been all this while. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, uh, show me where I have to sign in her school document. Um, she said I have to sign somewhere. Sorry. 
Sir, sir, this is not a school document. This is a legal document. No, it is a school document. Um, she said I have to sign somewhere and then she'll be admitted in the school. Sir, this document is for the transfer of all your properties to your wife. What? <coughs> sir, are you alright? Are you okay, sir? I'll, I'll get some water. One minute, sir. Your life is like a melody. Yeah. What happened? Did he sign the documents? What happened? He was just interrogating me and asking me stupid questions. And, and... I could have said and I left now. Oh my god, you did what? You would have waited for him to sign the document before leaving. Listen, if you ask me, I'll say to hell with this man. We don't need his money, we're okay. I need this money. I mean, we need this money. Okay, we need this money. Where's the document? I left it there, I was upset and I left it. You did what? What's the big deal? He's blind, it's not like you can see it. If he's blind, is the girl also blind? What if she reads the document? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I... I should go get it. You already blew the last chance you had. Who? The maid. Pick up, pick up. Hello? Hello? Please come back home. I promise to sign the document so you can go back to school. Just come home. I miss you. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> come on! Yes. See, this time around you have to calm down, okay? Calm. Make sure you execute this well. I'm calm. Come here! <laughs> What is the time? Eight thirty, sir. Oh, he will soon be here. Yeah. Baby, are we expecting anybody? Mm, yes, Mr. Dapon, the lawyer. That should be him. Okay, sir. I'll get him, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Well, what is your lawyer doing here? Uh, what is doing here? <laughs> Please sit, sir. Uh, you know that um, now I am a blind man and um, Mr. Dapo now is my legal eye for the moment. He former told me that uh, your school document is a legal document and that's why I asked Mr. Dapo to come and help me look at it. Mm. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the, baby, I just remember there's something I left out. Policemen are... They are already, so there's nowhere to run to. Uh. Baby, baby, I'm sorry. My love, my darling, my heart. I'm, I'm sorry, I think. Darling, I've not even said anything, and you are begging already. Um, uh, Mr. Dagbo, are you there? Right here, sir. Uh, good. Uh, did you come with the, the divorce papers? Yes, sir. No, 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 baby, no. <laughs> please come and carry on while I, I, I eat my breakfast. <laughs> no, no, baby, please. Baby, please. Baby, please. It will happen again, I promise. Mama. Yes, sir. Come and feed me. <laughs> baby, please. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Baby, please. Madam, please, come, sir. Leave me alone. Baby, please. Leave me alone, baby, baby. 
Madam, please, you can sign my name. <laughs> paper that says I have no claim to the property now or in the future. <laughs> okay, come here, it's fine. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Stop crying, it's fine. Oh, it's okay, come here. It's okay. Then this playground, your life is like a melody. Early. What's the time? You were my ticket to good life. Your husband's money was the target all along. But you messed up. I took your things, so don't bother looking for them. I'm already outside the country now. And remember, the owners of this house will be back in two days. Make sure you're not there when they come. No. No, 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 Frank. This has to be a joke. No, no. No, 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 Oh, okay, can you raise your head? Good, 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 good. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, Mr. Daniel, let's see how your eyes are doing today. Oh, well, looks lively. Oh, great. Okay, can I take a few examinations? Yes, um, what can you see? I see three fingers. Serious? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Mm, okay, okay. Let's see. Okay. This is four. Wow. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is awesome. I'm so excited about your improvement. Let me take this last test. Okay, what am I holding now? Yeah, I see a pregnant woman here. Good. There's a doctor that is Good. Stand, and I see a doctor here. Okay. Uh, yeah, someone in the lab and... Um, uh, okay, and what's this tiny one? Uh, these are nurses. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Thank Congratulations. You. Wow. This is great. This is great. This is great. Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe my eyes, my ears, my legs, my hands, my light, my everything. I was impatient, so I missed God's will for my life. But God being merciful unto me still brought it back into my life. To wipe it with tears from my eyes. If you will only say yes, I promise I will only live to make you happy because you are that God's gift for my life. Will you marry me? Yes, Mr. Daniel. <laughs> 